what is going on guys this is Arshad Samir welcome to the ninth Java GDBC tutorial in this tutorial I'm gonna discuss about something called prepared statement I hope you guys understood what is statement is all about is because we have done so many examples in statements so let's see what is the key difference between statement and the prepared statement as far as the statement is concerned statement object is used to run static SQL queries is because it cannot accept the parameters and when we concern about these prepared statements prepared statement object is used to run dynamic SQL queries is because it can accept parameters at runtime this is the key different but I think it sounds confusing but don't bother about all these things is because I'm going to implement this statement and the prepared statement in two separate methods so that you can easily underst understand what's going on so let's get started and yeah let's create a method for statement private void uh, using statement I'm just going to name it as using statement so that it will be very easy to understand what is going on so as usual this is using statement so with the help of statement I'm going to execute a query statement st equals null and yeah we need to put a try catch <coughs> exception ex and ex dot print stack trace yeah there we go guys and st equals object connection this is an object for connection class create statement and we need to put result set rs equals null there we go guys and yeah rs equals st dot execute query what I'm going to do is that I'm going to execute a query this query gonna do it's gonna retrieve data for us I'm just going to execute a simple query like select uh, <coughs> from salespeople sorry it's embarrassing select everything from salespeople where s name equals whatever comma s city equals whatever okay this is the complete statement for the yeah this is the complete query and uh, yeah there we go we need to put a while while loop rs dot next and inside the while loop i'm going to print it out system dot out dot print line so rs dot get int the first column is the id and let's give a space so it will be looking nice rs dot get string second column is its name and the rs dot get string this is one this one is is what a city okay a city and the final one is rs dot get float this is commission there we go guys everything is good to go and yeah this is for statement using statement we are going to retrieve data and the second method is I'm going to retrieve data by using prepared statement so let's write a method for that void using prepared statement yeah there we go and I need to pass two arguments string name comma string city yeah there 
there we go we need to create an object for prepared statement prepared st pst equals null and result set rs equals we need to import this prepared statement class so let's import it import java dot sql dot <coughs> there we go guys and <coughs> inside the try catch exception ex ex dot yeah there we go and now you need to <coughs> concentrate properly connection dot prepared statement so in order to prepare a statement uh, rather than typing you can type inside this or you can create a separate string like you know string sql equals whatever it is and you can give the sql right here you can do whatever you want or you can type directly inside this parenthesis i'm just going to do like this only so let's do uh, what to do we need to execute the same query here but what we are going to do is that instead of typing or instead of giving the value directly right here we are going to place by replace all these things by question mark and after that what we are going to do is that we are going to get the value first of all we need to get the name after that we need to get the city in order to get those strings we need to type pst dot set string so as you can see this is the first one we need to get and this is the second one we need to get so this is the first one so in order to get this string in this parenthesis in between these two parent in, in this parenthesis we need to type one is because this is the first one and the name is right from here it's coming right from here so just copy this one and paste it and the second one is pst dot set string second one is the city it's coming from here so copy that one and paste it yeah we are good to go and the final one is we need to get the result rs equals pst dot execute query there we go guys everything is good to go now let's print the result nothing nothing will change inside the while loop so just copy this while and paste right here everything is good to go now i want to mention one thing here as you can see at the beginning of my tutorial i said statement as far as the statement is concerned it cannot accept parameters as you can see it cannot accept parameters is because this prepared statement can accept parameters here it can access param accept parameters but this statement cannot accept parameters this is the key difference between this statement and the prepared statement and i want to mention one more thing instead of hard coding your sql values right here instead of hard coding our sql values right here we can easily set parameter placeholders by using a question mark this is what we are doing right here so in this case both are very easy to execute but when we come across the complex queries it will be very difficult to use this statement so always prefer to use this prepared statement when we come across the uh, difficult queries so let's run this program before running this program i need to see the database is because i don't remember anything so let's do some changes to our database as you can see i'm going to do some changes i'm going to uh, 
give some changes here as you can see oh time out wait for a while go yeah there we go sales people and yeah i'm going to change the value change the value in the sense i'm going to increase the rows name is this one and let's see i need to give the same information so copy and paste is easy otherwise if there is any mistake it's gonna take differently just paste paste yeah, there we go and the this one is let put let let us put like nine one three and zero point zero point one seven there we go and just click on the ok button yeah as you can see here two rows extra it has same information but the id is totally different so just keep in mind gary and the new new york our task just switch to the eclipse its name is gary oh i did a mistake it must be and okay don't forget to put that and and next one is new york copy that one and there we go now we need to call these two methods so just come into the main method uh, dbc dot using statement and i'm going to give a line so it will be looking nice Just give him the line. It's okay. Oh, it's embarrassing, man. Wait, print statement. Yeah, there we go. And the second one is dbc dot using prepared statement. So we need to pass these two name and the city. Name is here. As you can see, the name is Gary. Copy this one and paste right here and the this one is new york copy and paste here let's run the program something went wrong i think here let's check the query oh my god here select it's a simple mistake select copy this one we need to change here also we copy paste it here and we need to put we must put and here Okay, select everything from salespeople where its name, sales name of the salesman is equal to this one and the city is equal to that one. So it's easy, that's all. And save and run again. Yeah, as you can see, we got the result, three result. So this is what for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys understood and don't forget to check out my next tutorial. Yeah, that's all. Bye-bye.